You just, you know, leave it, become puggets. Well, if you look at Barney, right? a point to Barney, definitely point that way. He was around, though, pug, you know, just naam ja palo and But kid the kani juri hai. Should we just settle for, like, you know, just for... Mediocre careers? <laughs> I've had that from people. Like, should, I, should, I, should I become, like, the best at my field? Or should I just become, like, good enough and just do loads of kamai? Well, on my on on a personal point of view, I would say ki, like it's better to do more kamai and earn less. So let's say like you got your boss right. Your boss has got a bigger paying job, right? They've got more money, nicer car, nicer house, but more pressure, more work timetable, less time for doing their pagdi, right? If they were in that way inclined, and you're a good stick and you're thinking I'm all right at the moment, you know, I've got a nice house, I've got a nice car, yeah, I could be working hard. Do you need to have that promotion and lose? Let, lose some of the time you have for yourself? And do you feel obliged to be the best you can be? Because I personally think the best you can be is to be a bugget. You know, that's like the highest thing to strive for, to, to, to experience as much nama as you can in this world as, and do kamai. And then do seva. So do seva of the panth, do seva of, you know, like, there's many, many Gursikhs that have given up high flying careers to make sure. I mean, people give up high flying careers. To spend time with their family, don't they? Don't they? All the time. And people give up high flying careers to look after family members that fall ill. So, what's wrong with giving up a high flying career to make sure you find Waiguru? Yeah, I think that's a good, I, I, that's a good trade off, personally. Because once you find Waiguru, you don't want the money anyway. <laughs> so, it's like you're not going to lose out because your desires would change. But you don't want to be like saying to people, be the richest person you can be, be the most successful. If it's good, like if you're if you're a sports person, right, and then you made that your mission, then obviously it's better that you win. Otherwise, you're not going to progress anywhere. You know. So there's two points to this. One point is like a normal job, normal everyday job. Do you want to be the richest, most successful person? Maybe not. Maybe you want to do more naam japna. But there's some things that actually does help. Like if you were a soldier, then maybe you want to be the best soldier and do more fitness. Yeah. Then because your job is something which is positive. Let's say like something which is positive to a society. Uh, let's say you're a doctor. Wouldn't you want to be the best doctor you can be in your field so you can save more lives? Then yes, that extra time you spend towards your career is like a bit of seva you're doing for the world. The extra effort you do is going to save lives. is good for the, for the world. But if you're like, I don't know, a stockbroker, you know, not saying that there might be stockbrokers here, but like you're not going to change the world with stockbroking. You know, it's just like, it's paper money. You know? they, at that point, you can settle for a well-paying stock with job job and do more, do more kamai. Yeah? You've got to think about your... So there's no right answer to it. It's based on circumstance, but it's just some principles we can use.